Welcome back to another video of the True Story. You're back once again, awesome and beautiful, awesome amazing channel. And today, we're bringing to you once again another amazing video. And today's video is gonna be something creepy. Like I mentioned, too scared about um, something about a story that's really, really gonna surprise you guys. And today, I bring to you a crazy story. So it took place on a cold, cold Christmas Eve afternoon, and I had been laying around enjoying watching some videos and doing some animation videos. I think I was working some animations around that time. And during the time I was just having a good time and I didn't know that things later on day would soon turn weird. Really weird. Right around I think it was two o'clock I think this happened. A message came up on my phone and it was from Discord. And I seemed like okay, yeah, maybe someone texted me or something. So I went to take the message out and it was just some random person and I was like, okay, yeah, I'll just check this out. They sent me a friend request. Something that I didn't expect. So I went into the into the app, saw what was going on, and was like, yeah, okay, let's just do this. So I went and answered, and I was like, who are you? Stuff like that. And they replied with, oh, I was just bored, blah, blah, blah. Random st and I was like, okay, so where are you from? And, and like, oh yeah, I was like, I'm from Cali. They said, like, this is from California. See no more not. And they, then they said they were visiting. They were visiting from places. And then that's when they got suspicious. I was like, okay, so where are you? All right, that was the first red flag. That's when I knew something fishy was going on. So then I asked, so then I asked them again, where are you from? And they're like, from the area. And I was like, where from the area? I'm not giving, giving away my location. Do I know if I give, give away the location? That'd be stupid. And I was like. I mean, not in the exact city I lived, but I gave away the state. I was like, oh yeah, I live in Indiana. And you're like, and I asked them, where are they? In Indiana. And you're like, and, you said, and they just said, I'm nearby. What the frack? And this is when things get really creepy. But when I asked, when I asked this person, oh yeah, do you need friends to talk to? They were like, they, they, were direct, they started directing this, to this um, website. And I was like, okay, now I'm getting really suspicious. And also, this person was 22. They claimed to be 22. And I typed in, I was like, I'm 17. So, what the heck? And I was like, are you looking for a boyfriend? And she replied back with, uh, no. Just come to the website. This is a creepy person. Really creepy. So, I went to the website. He just... That was the second thing I should have, that's one thing I should have done. And I just immediately went back. I had not, I, just, I was on there for like one second and I turned back and was like, okay, you, you gotta stop this. You really gotta stop. Because one, they're 22 and I'm 17. So what kind of correlation is this? This is a bad correlation. I don't want to get in trouble for something that I got dragged into. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to turn down that. But she kept going and going and going. And I started getting really pissed off. I was like, okay, you really gotta stop this crap. So, I decided to actually get help. Before then, I blocked her. That was the first step to doing things. But that did not, but I knew that there was time to stop. So then I got some, like I said, I went got some friends. Like, I guess contacted the server first saying, oh yeah, there's this person running around trying to flirt people. And that's when they took a few friends' news and they're like, okay, we may have to stop this hacker. So one of them actually decided to go and trash talk this hacker. And she managed to keep her away. Which is a good thing. And after that, after the whole situation, we actually managed to keep her from texting anyone of, of us again. And during the time she actually was trash talking, trash talking the hacker, she was actually uh, disguised as a, like a male, like a male hacker, like one of those males that she would probably, the hacker would probably go after. And... Certainly it worked, like the cussing worked, I can say for sure. I'm not going to show you the stuff, but I just want to say that, that, that that's what we had to do to get her away. I didn't do the cussing. That was, thanks to her for saving the day. And since that day, I haven't seen, received any messages from the hacker. Because I saw that her account was deleted. So, great thing for that. Great thing, maybe this, maybe I reported to Discord, they took care of it. So that's a good thing that actually happened, because... That was rooted out. I mean, the, the website, I mean, what the freak? This person was saying that they were 
you know, laying down and stuff, and it, I, I just wasn't comfortable with it. I was just wanted to get out of there fast, so. So it was a good thing I should manage to escape the situation without getting scathed by this person or whatever. Good thing we weren't around. I mean, if they actually were around and watching me, then I probably would have called the police by now, so. Good thing I'm still alive and not in the hands of some ballistic whatever. Yeah. Oh, what a story. At least it's over now. Anyways, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to always update new videos from this awesome and amazing channel. And also, don't forget to check out this art. This is from Anime Comic. I know, it's been a long time, and I will get this comic done soon, hopefully. This is that school's been late lately, and it's been taking a long time to get this done. But hopefully, we will, I will get this done soon. So, thank you for your patience, and I'll see you guys in another video next time.